Hello everyone and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Today the problem which we are going to see is union and intersection of two sorted arrays. Here by sorted arrays we mean that the arrays should be sorted in ascending order starting from the smallest element to the largest element. So now let's look at uh, what do we mean by union and then we'll look at what do we mean by intersection. So by union we mean uh, that uh, suppose we are given two sets set A and B then the union is a set of elements which are in A, in B or in both A and B. For example, we have the two arrays, array 1 and array 2. So the union of these two arrays will consist of all the elements which are in either A or B or in both of these arrays. Similarly, the intersection. So intersection is basically the uh, common elements between the two arrays. So uh, we have array 1 and array 2 here. So the common elements are 3 and 5. So 3 and 5 becomes the intersection. So intersection can uh, can also be uh, phrased as uh, the set of uh, elements which uh, of A which also belong to B. That is the common elements. Now uh, let's look at the algorithm to find the union. So to find the union, uh, we'll uh, have two index variables i and j and we'll initialize the variables by zero. Uh, then what we do is uh, we start comparing the element at index i of array 1 with element at index j of array 2. So if element at index i of array 1 is smaller than element at index j of array 2, then we print element at index i of array 1 and we increment i. If it's the other way around, that is element at index i of array 1 is greater than element at index j of array 2, then we print the element at index j of array 2 and we also increment j. If both of those elements are same, then what we do is we print only one of them, so we can print any of them and we increment both i and j. This is done because in the union we want to count the common elements only once. Once this is done, so at least one of the arrays will be exhausted. By exhausted, I mean the all the elements of one of the array will be uh, inserted inside the union array. Then what we have to do is we have to just uh, insert the remaining elements of the larger array into the union. So uh, let's start with the uh, dry run before proceeding to the code. So we have these two arrays, array one and array two, and index variables i and j as zero. So we are, will be comparing these two elements first. So one is smaller than two. So that means uh, we'll increment i by one and we'll put uh, one inside the union array. So one is, uh, i is one and j is zero. So now we'll be comparing three with two. So two is smaller than three. So we'll put two inside the union array and we'll increment the value of j. Now i and j is one. So we'll compare three with three. So these both elements are same. So we come to this condition. So we'll put three inside the union array and we'll increment both i and j. So i and j becomes two and the union array till now is one, two and three. So now we'll be comparing four with five. So four is smaller than five. So uh, we increment the value of i and we put four inside the union array. So i is 3, j is 2, so this is the third element, this is the second element. Now these both elements are again same, again we come to this condition. So we'll put 5 inside the union array and we'll increment both i and j. Now we are comparing 7 with 6, so 6 is smaller than 7, so we'll put 6 inside the union array and we'll increment j. Now we are done with this array basically. All the elements of array 2 are inside the union array already. So we'll just put the remaining elements of this array inside the union. So here we have the union. Now let's look at the uh, C code for this. So we have a driver program here where we have just the two arrays. We are calculating their size. And then we have the actual uh, function which will implement our algorithm which takes as argument array one, array two, and the size. So this is the function. Uh, so the two input arrays and their sizes. 
So now as per the algorithm, we initialize i and j with zero. Then we have this while loop here. Uh, what the condition inside the while loop uh, signifies is that uh, this while loop will be running till one of the array is exhausted. So inside this condition, we'll be comparing the element and index i of array one with element and index j of array two. If uh, the uh, element and index i of array one is smaller, then we print the element and index i of array one and we also increment the i. If it's the other way around, then we print the element at index j of array two and we also increment the value of j. If it's the third case where both of the elements are same, so we can basically uh, print any of those elements. So we print array at element j, element at index j of array two and we also increment the value of j and i. Once uh, one of the array is exhausted, so it will come out of this condition. So then we have these two loops here to uh, basically uh, print, uh, print the remaining elements of the larger array. So this ensures that uh, we have the correct union. So now the time complexity of this algorithm is order of m plus n. This is uh, in the case of worst case. So suppose we have array one, which has the elements one, two, and three. And we have another array which has the elements four, five, and six. So in that case, what will happen is that uh, uh, the uh, this uh, while condition will be running three times. And when uh, one of the arrays, that is the first array is done, then we'll be left with the whole of the second array. And then this condition will have to run three times. So total of six times for six elements. So that is why we have the time complexity of order of m plus n. Now let's look at the algorithm for intersection. So the algorithm is uh, basically very similar, but with some minor tweaks. Here also we initialize the variables with zero. Here also we compare the same elements, but because here we are just finding the common elements, we are gonna print the element only in the case that both the elements are same. Otherwise we just increment the value of i or j, whatever is the case. So in case if both the elements are same, then we print any of them and we also increment i and j. So this is pretty much similar to the union. Uh, so let's uh, start with the dry run. Uh, I think uh, it will be very clear with the dry run. So we will have these same arrays as in the previous case and we'll compare one with two. So one is smaller than two, so we increment i. We do not put any element inside the intersection array. So now we are comparing three with two. So again, two is smaller than three. So we just increment J and will not put anything inside the intersection array. Now we are comparing three with three, which is common element. So we'll put three inside the intersection array and we increment both I and J. So I and J becomes two. So we'll be comparing four with five. So four is smaller than five. So we'll just increment the value of I. So value of i becomes three. So now we are comparing five with five. Again, the elements are same. So we'll put five inside the intersection array and we'll increment both i and j. So i becomes four and j becomes three. So six is smaller than seven. So uh, we'll just increment the value of j to four. And so, so now we are done with this array two and in case of intersection, because we are finding only the common elements, so there cannot be a common element after we are done with the one array, any of the array. So we stop here and this is our answer. So now let's look at the code. Again, the driver function is basically the same. We have just changed the name of the uh, function. Again, we have the same input, array, uh, input arguments. We have the initialization, the same condition. Uh, the only difference is that uh, here in these two conditions, we are not printing the element. We are just incrementing the index variables i and j. We only print in case of, uh, in case where element, these two elements are equal. So we also print it and we also increment the index variables. Again, for the same reason as uh, in the union case, we have the time complexity of order of m plus n. So that is all for this uh, video. Uh, all the content in this video can also be found on this URL for Geeks for Geeks. So you can go to this URL and uh, try the exact code. 
and uh, you'll get I, I i'm sure that you'll get uh, a good feel of it yeah thank you